everyone, this is Elise Thompson, Managing Editor for Candy Industry. I'm joined today by Tara Bosch, founder of Smart Sweets, a brand that makes low sugar, plant-based uh, remixes of classic candies. Uh, thanks for joining me today, Tara. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Super stoked to be video chatting with each other. So I think one of the, the ways to start is to get uh, a background on you and the brand. So how did you get involved with candy? Yeah, so I have been a um, I have been a candy addict my entire life, um, <laughs> but um, my love affair with candy turned into a unhealthy relationship with food um, after I began experiencing uh, the negative impacts that excess sugar can have on our health. And so um, for me, I tried to eat less candy, but that only led me to crave it more, um, and, and so I was eating more of it um, and. So that really was what sparked my uh, quest to um, find a candy that I can feel good about. And so I um, began recipe testing in my kitchen uh, with a gummy bear mold online, uh, really with the goal of innovating the first delicious candy without all the sugar. Um, dropped out of college, and then uh, just under a year later, we launched Nationwide. Wow, what a short timeline. That's amazing. And so, you know, why is it important to have low sugar and plant-based options out there? Yeah, I mean, I think for 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 me, it, it really came down um, to wanting to enjoy something that I loved and actually feel good about it. Um, and so what we're really passionate about is giving people that permission back to feel good about candy vis-a-vis -vis kicking sugar, uh, which is 99.9% .9 what traditional candy is made up of. Um, that's really kind of what gets us up out of the bed each morning, the squad and I am super stoked about what we're creating in the world. Um, but low sugar or not, taste is king. And so um, for us, it, it's we really focus on creating uh, the texture and the taste and the flavor profile that you'd expect from traditional candy um, and doing it without the sugar so we can give um, consumers that experience. Um, on that kind of kicking sugar notion, we hit a milestone recently that we're super proud of. Uh, we helped officially since launching on shelves in 2016, have now helped people kick over 1 billion grams of sugar. Wow. By Smart Sweets. Um, and that was a really cool moment for us to actually quantify the impact. Um, that we're making in the world through the mission to kick sugar. That's great. And so your latest launch um, are the Sweet Chews. Can you give us a, a background on the goal behind that product and, and what you hope people get out of it? Yeah, absolutely. I'd love to. Um, so everything that we that we do um, at Smart Sweets, we're obsessed with quality and taste and innovation and all of that being informed by our North Star, which is our um, our kick sugar community. Um, we uh, place a really heavy focus on fostering that community on social. So we have just over um, 560,000 collective community that we have real time conversations with every single day and listening to what they love and what they want to see more of and what they want us to innovate for them. Um, and uh, a chew like product was what we had been hearing um, that they wanted. And so um, we really embarked on creating the first kick sugar plant-based chew in the world. So it was really informed by our North Star and uh, we're really excited about it because it's the first innovation um, where we're really breaking out of the gummy mold um, into a new type of texture experience for the, the consumer. And with the, the COVID pandemic going on, um, this isn't the ideal time to launch a new product. Um, did the circumstances change how you approach launching it and marketing the Smart Shoes? Yeah, so um, so for us, um, our, our launch all along was really digitally focused, uh, which ended up really playing in our benefit because, um, of course, now so many people are inside and so um, there's lots of eyeballs on online and on social. Um, when COVID um, really bubbled up, what we shifted our focus to was, okay, asking our, our community how we can be there for them during this time. Um, and what we heard from them was, 
we really want smart suites to play the role of bringing a moment of joy in my day. Um, and so we, we um, began what we call the daily dose of sweetness, uh, which is just that, like bringing a smile to our community's day. And, and one of the things that they had been asking us for was innovation as part of that. And so we really shifted um, our approach um, and kind of how we were launching the product through the campaign. Originally, um, the campaign was called Choose Your Adventure. So like a C-H-E-W-S, Your Adventure. And it was all about on-the-go snacking because um, the shoes are individually wrapped. And we really um, shifted that to, um, to being more of a daily dose of sweetness for our community and introducing the innovation for them. Um, that was a really big shift for us. Um, and, and we saw some, some retailer impacts as well. Originally, we were um, set to launch in 10,000 doors from day one with the Chews and um, with certain retailers resets pushed back and things like that, that shifted to about half the number of doors, 5,000. Um, and so we're really focused on, on just driving um, the Chews to be a surprise and delight for our community through this time and just bring um, some joy to their days. Of course, that's so important right now. Um, did you face any issues with the manufacturing or ingredient supply during this time? That's something, yeah, that we, um, that we're staying really close with all of our supplier and manufacturing partners and in real time to have visibility into um, what's going on for them and what's around the bend. And we're preparing for all scenarios. Um, thankfully, we haven't had any disruptions um, and, and are, are working hard to, um, to avoid that, but only so much is in our control. <laughs> and so um, we're preparing for all scenarios um, and, and executing um, for the best, but being prepared for whatever may come our way. Sure. And so in the future, once we get past all of this, um, you know, what do you hope happens, especially in terms of uh, acceptance of, of low sugar candy? Yeah, I mean, I, I think for me, what we're really passionate about is creating more and more accessibility to kick sugar candy that people can experience. Um, what what we're, we think is really cool about Smart Sweets is that um, it really opens up that conversation when someone enjoys a bag of Smart Sweets. They're like, oh, it actually tastes delicious. Oh, and it has three grams of sugar per bag. Is that a lot of sugar? Is that a little bit of sugar? And then it kind of fosters that conversation around how much added sugar is in our packaged foods today. Um, so that, that's been really cool to see. Um, for us, we're really passionate about focusing on taste um, because you can um, have a low sugar product, but if it doesn't taste delicious and deliver on that experience, it's not really a sustainable, radically better choice um, for consumers to keep coming back to. So we really hope to shift, um, begin to shift the perception of low sugar candy. Um, we um, have a pinky promise to our consumer to be free from added sugars sugar alcohols and artificial sweeteners. Um, that's really important to us because traditional uh, sh sugar-free candy options, um, the sugar alcohols from them has also kind of created somewhat of a stigma about um, stomach upset from low sugar candy. And so really focused on just ch changing that perception through getting um, smart sweets in as many consumers' hands as possible to experience um, what kick sugar candy can be. That's great. Best of luck as you keep moving forward in the, the future, Tara. And thanks again for speaking with us today. We really appreciate it.